I'd like to talk today about something commonly referred to as choice routes or option routes. It's something that we see from the Ravens tight ends quite a bit, not as much from the wide receivers. I prefer to refer to these routes not as choice routes or option routes, but as decision routes. I'll explain what I mean by that. To me, the quarterback and the wide out have a decision to make. They can make it correctly uh, or incorrectly based on the coverage. They can decide, for example, to run a fade or to sit down based on coverage, but I mean it to be something that is decided either correctly or incorrectly by both the quarterback and the wide receiver. Wide receivers are expected to make these decisions, to run these decision routes. Certainly in college offenses, there's no reason that the quarterback and the wide receiver can't be thinking the same way in the Ravens offense. Of course, I'm not in the rooms with them. I'm sure these are things they speak about, but to my mind, this is not a choice route. This is not an option route. This is an obligation route. Has to be practiced, has to be studied, has to be broken down post-game in film sessions to see where you were on point in this regard, where you were off. I think the Ravens are going to have to put up a lot of points next Thursday evening to beat the Chiefs. We see very clearly here Isaiah likely motioned and released just before the ball is snapped. He's going to read the depth, the leverage, the backpedal of this cornerback along with the quarterback and decide to sit this route down. Again, this is done well by Lamar and by the tight ends. We don't see our wide receivers converting routes in the same way quite as much. This is certainly detail that can open up an offense to bigger plays or more big plays. You're going to need those against upper echelon teams. You're going to need that against the Chiefs, to be sure. This is obviously the AFC Championship game. I think it offers a great example uh, of what I'm trying to put forth here. Andrews in line runs this decision route, sits it down based on coverage. Lamar needs to get this football out. He doesn't, but that's not what I want to point out primarily. Watch the route that Bateman runs. No doubt this is the written route, this little curl or this little inbreak. But if he's reading coverage, and if he and Lamar, this is on Lamar as well. If they've practiced this, this is a go. He's going to convert this right here. There is no safety anywhere near him. You can see that this curl defender blew his assignment or misread the play. If the Ravens are practicing these things in practice, this is an easy six. We have here again another opportunity for Bateman to read this coverage instead of running what appears to be a robotically run route. It may even be that Lamar wants him to sit there. You see him run into coverage. He certainly has space right here and should be reading these safeties. He's at the sticks at this point just to turn and sit or break this in and sit. Lamar's got some space and time in the pocket. Unfortunately, we get Ronnie Stanley on the ground with not much of a hurry in getting up. Unfortunately, he has to make a what is a much more difficult play here. Kansas City sends six here. One is sort of a spy slot blitz here. Andrews is definitely reacting to that. We see this linebacker come over to cover Andrews. He reacts to that, cuts this outside. I don't know the down and distance here. That's on me. But it doesn't appear that Aguilar is at all aware of coverage here, that he too is running this stick knot in a very robotic manner against off coverage, we got man on the outside, we got man to mark. You got effectively a six man pressure. I think there just needs to be more awareness in this regard. In order to win next Thursday, I won't say absolutely, but I think Lamar's going to have to play great in order for the Ravens to win. They are going to have to do these little things in great detail. 
I'd like to see improvement on the communications between uh, the wide receiver and the quarterback uh, on these decision routes. I have good faith we'll see it more out of Zay Flowers and Lamar, but we'll see. 